Sometimes we've experienced something in our youth that made us feel really, really bad. We were deeply hurt by something. Something made us feel disappointed. Something made us feel good, but then someone else used that to hurt us. So a way for us to cope with all of this was by not feeling anything. We learned that at the core, feelings and emotions are not safe. When we receive compliments, we brush them away. We can't really fully accept them or believe in them. And when we hear something insulting, we try our best to just ignore it. Try not to stand up for yourself or not get involved. Whether something is positive or negative, it needs to be suppressed. Apathy is struggling to feel or express emotion. It's not so much that you can never feel anything, but mostly you don't feel anything. It's a blank state of being. You know you have to do something today, but you also don't feel like doing it. But you also don't feel like doing anything else. And every day it tears at you, until eventually you start to question, why did I want to do this to begin with? Feeling is not just emotion, but also a way for us to guide ourselves. How do we decide on what we want to do today? How do we find what we genuinely enjoy? That is why when we start to suppress feeling, we start to feel like something about us is broken. When we are emotionless, we feel confused, like we don't really know ourselves. We feel directionless, that we have no plan for anything to do, because we don't want to do anything anyway. And we feel hopeless that in the end, nothing will really turn out good anyway. If we were to decide to reject apathy, it wouldn't be that we suddenly believe everything has to be positive, that the goal is to always be happy, and that no matter what, everything will work out in the end. It's recognizing that both good things and bad things happen, and it's because of that that we can take action. If we decide to feel again, we might have a lot of doubts. We might fear that things will swing too far, and that our feelings will become overbearing, and now instead we are completely driven by emotion. But it's not something we have to fear, because what we're really teaching ourselves is that we can trust ourselves. We might also fear that feelings and emotions are illogical, that it goes against all logic and reason. But really, we're only using our feelings to guide ourselves, to not feel ashamed of what we want, or what to achieve, or when we fail to get there. To let us be ourselves and engage with others. To have needs again, and the willingness to go after them. To not distract ourselves by indulging in passivity, and not get addicted to things to distract us. To get out of apathy, we don't need one big step. It's not laying everything out there and saying, here are all my problems in life, here are all my issues, go ahead, have a look. It's all in the small steps. When we feel positive, we embrace it. We don't tell ourselves we're not worthy of feeling good, that we have other things to deal with before we're even allowed to feel good, that the past and future has to dictate how we're feeling right now. It's accepting sadness, that it's fine to be sad, it's not inherently a bad thing to feel, but knowing that we won't feel this way forever. That we don't need the rumination and added distress of constant bad thoughts about how bad things are for us. It's necessary for us to feel sadness, so that we can take some time to reflect, and then take action from it. It's all just small steps. It can work like this, telling people in very simple ways how you feel. This is how I feel right now. I feel sad. Or I feel happy. Or even gratitude. I am glad you did this for me. When we talk to others, it's fine to indulge in more emotion than we might usually. To laugh and smile and focus on what they are actually talking about. To maybe hang out with friends or watch a movie or play a video game simply to indulge emotionally. It's being able to have a sense of direction in your life and not care if someone else were to judge you for it. Instead, you're just feeling again, and it's a process. And slowly, you might start to remember, oh yeah, this is what I wanted out of life.